I didn't see you come in. My name is Victor von Spechemen. Welcome to another episode of Supercool. Today we will be talking about supercooled fluids. What is that? I'm glad you asked. Well, supercooling, also known as undercooling, is the process of lowering the temperature of a liquid or gas below its freezing point without it becoming a solid. Supercooling is not to be confused with freezing point depression, in which a solution's freezing point is lowered due to the presence of a solute. Supercooling is achieved by dramatically increasing the rate of cooling. When a liquid is below its standard freezing point, it will crystallize in the presence of a seed crystal or nucleus around which a crystal structure can form. Here we see water molecules that have been supercooled. They are very cold as they are below their standard freezing point. When disturbance in the form of a crystal nucleus is introduced, the molecules will be able to crystallize and form a frozen solid. Perhaps a more realistic model will help you visualize this. First will be introduction of supercooling by shaking the bottom. Just give it a little vibe. And slam! Crystallization. The next experiment, well, nucleation by seeding with ice crystals. Just drop it in and nucleation occurs. And that is all. So that's cool and all, but why does it matter? Actually, supercooling has several real world applications. Certain commercial freezers cool drinks to a super cooled level so that if they spill over, they will become slush. Who would do that, you may ask? A few years ago, the Coca-Cola company briefly marketed special vending machines which stored super cooled beverages. The idea was that when customers opened their drinks, they would be able to enjoy a super cooled slushy treat. Another real world application are commercial hand warmers containing sodium acetate in a super cooled state. When the disc inside the patch is clicked, it produces the disturbance necessary to turn the liquid to a solid. Crystallization is an exothermic process and the heat produced by the reaction can be used to warm the hands. Finally, although you may not have realized this before, freezing rain is an example of a supercooled fluid. Raindrops become supercooled when they pass through a sub-freezing layer of air and crystallize upon impact. In summary, Supercooling is a unique phenomenon that occurs when we rapidly cool a liquid. In order to nucleate a supercooled fluid, we need some sort of a disturbance, whether it be a shaking or a ice crystal. And finally, as we all saw, supercooling has several commercial and real-world applications. Oh, and there you have it. Remember kids, stay super cool. Mm -hmm.